Okay, this is a well set up with the aerators outside. And the biggest thing that we want to find out here is our electric and how it's wired. So we're finding the well pump because we're following the check valve coming into the pump out of the ground. Then it comes up and goes out and directly feeds the aerator spray rack with no solenoid. You can also tell the wire here is coming in. This is the float from the aerator. It comes into the pressure switch and you can see it breaks one leg of power coming from the power source. It goes to one side of the float. The other side of the float goes to the terminal that goes to the motor. The other side of power goes right to this um, switch which goes to the motor. So if we follow this power line over comes up and goes into one of these breakers, which we don't know which it is because nothing's labeled. So we take our voltmeter and we set it on voltage. And we want to start just going around and checking voltage. Function button, so it goes up to auto. And that's 110 there. So we know we've got 110 in there. We come back over and we check the lines coming in. And we don't have voltage there, but that's because the float's not down in the aerator. So if you carefully find your power, disconnect the wire nut. Now we should be able to bring the power line in and then touch the power here. And it's giving us 240 volts. So we know that's wired 220. So we can go over to the breaker panel and see if there's any connected. There's two connected here and two here. So we'll flip one breaker and then check our power again. tells us there's no voltage it just reads 1.9 so that tells us that we now have the power disconnected at the breaker box for the well pump we can disconnect the old float cut the pipe run our new aerator with the float and the well pump will be done now right now we follow the pipe coming out of the aerator with a check valve going to the pump that is supplying the softener which then goes to the house. This will all be cut out and we'll have to reconnect it because our submersible pump runs over here. Now we want to go ahead and check before we try wiring everything to our power source there which is 110 and our power source there it's still 120. So we know we've got power here, so we can set our aerator here, plumb into it, plumb out of it, over to the softener, and all this will be cut out. This pump here is a well pump also, but it's larger, and you can tell it just runs the irrigation. So we don't have to worry about it. That's it. Yeah.